When people a little older than me talk about their gaming history, it's usually something like DOS or Atari or NES. You know, old shit that was at the forefront of the new age of computer technology. It was primitive, but exciting and cool, and nobody really knew what video games were or what demographics they could target with them. So developers just made games that they would play themselves. My gaming history is a little different, because by the time my parents got a computer, the idea of making games specifically catered to kids was now a normal thing. And I grew up with this shit. So come with me. Come and see inside the land of Daddy Boo. But like all things from my childhood, I get cravings to experience it again. To indulge my nostalgia even though it's literally the babiest game ever, and couldn't possibly be as fun as I remember it. I lost the discs long ago, so I forgot about it for a long time, but recently my cravings got the best of me, and I bought a copy of Addy and Addy Boo on Amazon after extensive research. I'm gonna play Addy first, just because. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think this is the same Addy I played as a kid. There's so many versions to choose from, I just assumed this was the same one, but with a variant cover or something. I guess this doesn't matter too much. Maybe this one will be good anyway. Hey, how are you doing? Not too shaken up? I hope you enjoyed this little interstellar trip. Just you wait. What comes next is even more staggering. Come on, follow me. We're off. Oh, I guess not. On the left, you can create a boy user character. On the right, you create a girl. Oh, what's wrong, little boy? Did Addy do this to you? Or is this game so fun that you literally ripped your cheeks from smiling? It's probably the latter. Oh, you too, little girl? God damn, you're scary. So I guess this is all in 3D. The Addy I remember was pre-rendered 3D, which gave everything a more timeless look to it. This? Looks like, uh, like RuneScape, actually. I'm okay with this. So I gotta make my avatar, okay. They actually got a lot of options for a game of this caliber. I could easily imagine having fun with this as a kid, and definitely not right now as a sensible adult. All right, I think that's good. Oh fuck, I can do clothes too? There's something up with these proportions. What's wrong with his torso? Hmm, yep, that looks about right. Now you can tell me about your likes and dislikes. Let's start with sport. Likes and dislikes? Uh, okay, well I don't like every sport. All of them disgust me. Wait, I... I can't dislike horse riding? I... But I hate them. Oh, I get it. I gotta do it about animals now. Well, I don't see any hippos. I, I guess you're not important, mate. Why are you playing this? My favorite colors? Oh, that's easy. Red, white, and blue. Oh, lovely. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That's what I don't like. Okay, last question. Tell me about your hobbies. Okay, whatever, I'm bored. Just, just fucking put a whatever. Hey, before we become better friends, there's something I have to tell you. Shut that fucking dog up. I'm sorry, Addy, what was it you have to tell me? I am an alien. No... No shit. I love getting to know all sorts of things. People too, and especially children. Whoa, wait, whoa, hold up. What? So you can imagine how pleased I am that you've come to see me. I'm a child? I thought I was born in 1914. Why in this game are you even allowed to put 1914, actually? My goodness, you haven't met Whoops yet. Whoops. Come here, now! And up there, that's Mew 3. Hey, Mr. Know-It-All, aren't you going to say hello to our new friend? I don't think there's anything over there. Oh, oh, it's the robot. Uh, is the game broken? He introduced the robot, but he didn't explain what it does, and now I can't click on anything. 
Oh, I, I swear, playing old games is like trying to bathe an egg. You, you gotta be real careful with it, because it's so fragile, and at any moment it could crack and get egg yolk all over the bath, and then you have to clean it up while wondering why you even tried to do that in the first place. That's quite an apt metaphor, that, that works, it, 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 everything, it, all of it works. Oh, thank God, it's fine. Cooey, here I am again. This is the heart of the space. Why are you so far away? Now I'm going to show you all the fabulous things you can find here. As you can see behind me, there are lots of great nooks and crannies. Come on, let's start over there. Okay then. When I suggest something for you to do, or oh God, question, shut up. Shut up, I don't do need this. Is this is the screen which I use to find out lots of things about the way you live. So you're a stalker too. Good. I'm gonna can it with the creepy alien pedophile jokes, just cause it's too easy, and also there's so much other shit I could be commenting on. Over there, that's my nature corner. It's a lovely Whoa, too close. Okay, maybe the well that's of creepy I jokes will never run dry. I have no idea with this guy. I'm sure you're going to love being here. But we haven't finished the guy. God damn it, no! Let so me play! I'm a big baby boy who wants to play and explore! Kids don't need explicit guided tours of things. We will click on literally everything. You don't need to worry about that. But that's only the start of the surprises. Of course, you could stay here, but if you like, I can show you your room. Okay, no, I don't I don't so, want to continue the tour. I want to look at all the things you just introduced. Water? Fuck you, stop looking at me. Because the passengers live in outer space, their well-being has to be constantly monitored by doctors. In these test cabins, you can use a computer to see the effects of food, stress and exercise on the state of an individual's body. Oh? Oh God. I'm ruining this person's life. Oh God. God, no! Why would you redecorate just because of the pollution? That's just depressing. Oh, no! This is literal nightmare fuel. This poor man is being destroyed because of me. Uh, okay. Have fun with your new terrible life I gave you. Addy, I... Oh... What the fuck is this game? So I went around the rest of the room and looked at things that you could do. The vast majority of them were very text-heavy, copy-pasted encyclopedia entries about very boring information. Occasionally there would be a voice explaining things, but it feels like all these bits were made by different people. Some things are quite engaging, like the erosion diorama, which changed the terrain based on what the weather was like, which is an effective way to teach a kid about something. But then there's the world map, which is basically just text and a few bits of information about a country's population and language that couldn't even hold my adult attention span. I remember Addy having things like this in the version I played, and I remember not giving a shit about it back then too. Why is the teaching method not consistent? No kid is gonna read all of this. Hey, check out the music selection. Yup. That's what a cartoon sounds like. Unending, incoherent, spastic noises. I get the feeling these people didn't know what kids are interested in. I mean, really, the whole concept of edutainment is pretty dumb. I learned more about history from Age of Empires than I did in school, let alone a game like this. Uranus is one of the giant planets of our solar system and measures about 50,000 kilometers in diameter. However, it is very light, as it is 60 times bigger than Earth, but only 15 times heavier. Uranus is nearly 3 billion kilometers from the Sun and takes 84 years to travel around it. A day on Uranus is approximately half a day on Earth. Uranus is surrounded by a very thin ring which cannot be seen from Earth and several moons. Uranus is made up of a solid core surrounded by ice, then a layer of hydrogen and methane, which is responsible for the blue-green color. Uranus was discovered in 1781 by the astronomer William Herschel. The ring around it was discovered in 1977. And in 1986, 
Void Uranus is made up Uranus is Uranus is Uranus is Uranus Uranus with Uranus 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 Let's just see what else this game has to offer. And here's your room. Isn't it excellent? I had it put in my spaceship especially for you. But there's so much still to be done. It's your job to decorate it. I get to decorate right to my room? Whoa, a castle? Hell yeah, I love medieval shit. You'll see that the deco designer also contains items that you can place wherever you like in your room. To do this, click on the ring on the bottom of the deco designer. A flap drops down containing several items. Click once on an item and it will stick to your mouse cursor. Then, position it in your room by clicking Whoa, on the place... Whoa! It's an actual 3D model that I can put wherever I want. This is actually cool. I could really imagine having fun decorating this room as a kid, and definitely not as a sensible adult right now. It's already a lovely room, but there are still plenty of other things you can do. Yes, it's a living suit of armor. He just sliced through Addy's legs. I love this! As a kid! As a kid I love it, I would love it as a kid. Okay, I think it's high time I actually went to the, the classes and learned some stuff. Oh, I need to make an account? That's odd. I did see earlier that there's like internet access involved in this game, where you can learn along with other people playing Addy or whatever. Sure, okay, let's do it. Ah, of course, the site's long dead. I should have known. Wait, does that mean I can't play this game at all? Lots of these things, lots of these places, including the main bulk of the game, which is the classes, require a subscription. Well, uh, hang on. I need to look at uh, the, the options. Ah, uh, well, that confirms it. Addy is dead. That's kind of a bummer. Up, <sighs> mm. up, mm. up. Wow! <laughs> Actually, no, it isn't. Fuck this guy. 